yellow bikes are essentially a way for us to divert bikes from the landfill and for us to also teach people how to fix bikes. And then we put them out on the street and typically they get taken by somebody who's really in need. Some folks at Bikes Not Bombs were volunteering and kind of wanted to affect the local community a little bit more than Bikes Not Bombs was. And so they decided, well, why don't we start a project where we take in unwanted bikes and we fix them up and we put them out on the streets. So it's kind of modeled after the white bike program in Amsterdam. And then from there, it, it started out in a couple of people's backyard and then it moved over to a city-owned shop on Hargrave, which was a great accomplishment to get the city's support. And then from there it moved across the driveway here and then it moved here. And this is all city owned. So the city's been supporting us for about 10 years. And currently we're gonna be moving. And the reason for that is that they're gonna knock down this building. Uh, the city's no longer gonna be giving us an actual building warehouse space, but we have convinced them to let us lease some land for 50 years. And it's, you know, it's essentially a gift. It's a dollar a year kind of a lease but we have to build a building to go on it. And so the collective is made up of people who volunteer 24 hours or more a season. Coordinators, we have about 25 right now. And some are real active and some are less active, but we all contribute by running shops. A lot of people who aren't members come in and use the shop. You don't have to be a member to use the shop. The way it's supposed to work is that you come in and kind of an honor system, you volunteer back a time equivalent to what you use working on your own stuff and that serves to help us get bikes ready for um, ready ride bikes that people can get. It gets yellow bikes ready, it gets kids bikes ready that we give out to area schools and other kinds of programs. And then at the same time, you're learning how to fix your own bike and so when you come in, you can use our tools and ask us how to do things. Right now, this is a coordinator work party, so it's um, focusing on fixing bikes for our big bike sale, which is this Saturday. We're trying to lighten the load before our move, and so we want to get as many bikes fixed and out of here and being ridden on the streets before we kind of close down our main shop for a while while we build our new building. We're going to be moving the bike shop as much as we can, depending on our turnout, with human power. And what that means is most of the big stuff in fact, all of the big stuff is going to go on big trailers that we have access to. Okay. So you want to take this trailer out? And yeah, test we might as well just do that. Okay. Test yeah. Our friends have, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Austin Bike Zoo is what they call themselves now. Um, they have big custom made 12 foot long trailers that are pulled by adult sized tricycles like Worksman's. And so um, you can pull a whole lot of weight. Those are going to be moving the bulk of the stuff. Those are our trucks. And then beyond that, we have people who have trailers, even little bob trailers, even paneers or backpacks. And that'll be for the small parts and stuff. We'll move all that stuff. And they're going into storage right now. The new location is awesome. It's at 12th and Weberville, and it is about three quarters of an acre. It's right on bike routes and bus routes. Essentially, it's the eastern end of 12th Street. It's right by Sims Elementary, so we anticipate working with them a lot with kids programs. And we're going to have just a really awesome tailor-made shop that is going to be better than what we have right now. But first, we have to get there and build it and do the fundraising and, and make that all happen. So it's a challenge right now, but ultimately, it's going to be better. What we, what we see uh, as we ride down here, uh, everybody waving and kind of are astonished that this can be accomplished with bikes. I think that's a good message and I hope more people ride bikes. What time is it? 12.30. We started at 10. That's amazing. We just moved a 4,500 square foot shop 
in two and a half hours. We moved the little shop in two and a half hours, and we thought that was a big deal. We just moved a 4,500 square foot shop in two and a half hours. Hey, Catherine, do you have any tools and stuff? <laughs> It's just amazing how many people came out and helped with this. I mean, it's hot out, and we did this and, you know, survived. Had fun. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlogs.